Well, Pepper. Who knows why they're waiting down here. Actually, people speed down the street all the time, so hopefully that's what he's here for um, and not me. I, I really doubt it's me, honestly. I don't do anything really over here. I just be respectful to my neighbors as all of my fellow car people with loud cars should be. So today's an interesting day. I've got a guy wanting to come look at my 91 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. I've had this car for about six or seven months. I wanted to kind of rebuild it and then just resell it eventually, but ended up not having the time nor money to really do that. So I posted it up for sale, had a lot of people kind of hint at it, do stuff like that, but this guy actually wants to come out and take a look at it, hopefully take it home, so that's what we're going to be doing today. The car's out at my shop, which is about an hour from here, so I'll be heading out there pretty soon, but got a few things I need to take care of back here before we can do that. Bro, you're going to need more than just a little air in there. <laughs> that was all the You know we had to get the monster every time. Honestly, it's probably not good how much I drink these things. And if I don't drink one in the morning, or I guess throughout the day at all in general, if I don't drink one, I will have the worst headache at night. Like it's, it's honestly bad at this point, but I guess that's my life now. And I'm okay with that. He's still there. to uh, <laughs> pick up the camera yesterday so honestly didn't really do much but today we actually have quite a bit lined up I'm gonna go get an alignment or actually that's where I'm on the way right now but after that we're going to pick up a new hood for the Mustang um, I won't spoil what it is yet but I think y'all are gonna like it it's a track hood. It's not a cowl hood or anything like that. It's actually a hood that will improve the cooling of the vehicle. It's got huge vents on it and everything like that. Um, it actually came off of this car from the original owner. And then they re uh, reached out to me and asked if I wanted it. So, of course, I said, yeah, I mean, it, it goes with the car. So, I'm going to go pick that up. It's a little bit further out. I don't know if that was even on me the whole time. But we're going to go pick that up. Yeah, we'll touch base back with y'all. Oh, we're at the Firestone, so we're going to get this alignment done. Let y'all know how it goes. Um, hopefully it goes good. I've been told a couple times that they can't do the alignment because of lowering thing, but apparently they got an in-ground uh, alignment rack, so hopefully we can get this knocked out. See y'all in a bit. We're about to go get the hood. We're hoodless. Woo. I don't know, I kind of like this look. <laughs> yeah, well hopefully nothing goes wrong. My boy Tyler's parking his car in the garage and then we're about to head out. Yes, sir. Well, we're back in Austin. Got the hood. We uh, had to tape it down because I forgot the hood latch. So it's got like track tape on it. Um, but we made it. That's what matters. So I'm going to pull off all this tape actually now. Yes. Oh yeah, it's clear tape, so it's not as satisfying, but. Ooh. There's like bugs in the tape. <laughs> uh, just 
kind of gross, low key. That tape had to tape down the hood pins too because you have to pull off the bumper to do the hood pins. Those are still going to be taped down. Then this guy right here. And that's it. God, that thing is mean. All right, let's pull off the hood latch real quick. Let me figure out how I'm gonna do this. Boss. Perfect. Kinda. Perfect. Pull these off. Such a weird angle. Smart. Okay. Perfect. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Nope, boss, you can't go outside, buddy. You can't go outside, buddy. We got the hood latch. Let's put it on so we can actually see this thing without a bad look. Uh, the guy I got the hood from said I should probably get a washer to put in between the, um, the hood latch and then the bolts. So I'm gonna try to find a washer somewhere. Should have something. Here's in this bag with the ripped ratchet strap. Actually, toe strap, but anyway. Washers, yay! So, now that it's on my foot, put the tape. Get out of here, boy. All right, so now we can put the hood latch on. Try to set this up. Let's see, hopefully, it's so hard to do this, oh, fall, we're just gonna see if it closes, oops, and I oop, oh, all right, buddy, actually, I'll probably need to put this thing in its rightful position, all right, so that is there, let's see. Disappointed, it's like kind of got it latched. Gonna try to even it out a little bit on this side because it's got a little bit of a gap, but yeah, all in all, it's pretty dang good. I'm happy with it. I think it's a nice, uh, no bugs on it, got the fitment right. Really Boy, been, Matthew pulled up. I've really been thinking about getting back into graphics or something, though. That would be dope. There's this boy's IS too. Got an IS. Okay. Woo! Fresh. Yeah, fresh. This boy's fresh. So we're about to go to the parked up meet. <laughs> Here, bro. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Hey, you're taking off. Well, I was editing 
the video and realized that I didn't film an outro for last night's video. Um, didn't really get into much. Went to another meet after the parked up meet. Hung out for a little bit. Cops showed up. They were just hanging out, just telling us not to race. On the way home, there was like cops on every exit. Like, I guess after Texas reopened back up, they're gonna start cracking back down on like racing and stuff like that again. So, I mean, I don't blame them, but all in all, see you guys next time. Be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid.